Hello, this is James McCorn, and today we are going to be talking about the Shadow Ghost, but in particular, we are going to be talking about dual displays on the Shadow Ghost. Now, I have a video titled Multiple Monitors on the Shadow Box, but most people aren't able to get a hold of the box, but they are able to get a hold of the ghost. So let us go ahead and explain what's going on here. Uh, I have one monitor, but what do you know? I actually have two monitors running off of the ghost and I'll explain how this is possible but first let me go ahead and show you some of the more interesting situations here I have a video on YouTube I'm going to go ahead and hit play it is my own video I'm not going to play the audio because I'm talking but I'm going to show you the transition of moving it over to the second screen and as you can see there's a little bit of lag but once it's set up here it has that jittery mouse as you saw but it's not bad for a second monitor that just monitors uh, what's going on. And once it's set over, now you actually have your normal performance of your mouse as the video is still playing. And you can clearly see that, yes, it is working as a second monitor. So how is this even possible? Well, it wouldn't be if it wasn't for some advancements in USB technology, in particular USB DisplayPort technology. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. This is what I have. It's a pluggable USB 3.0 dual 4K display adapter. And this is important because even though you may say, well, I don't run dual 4K, what really matters here is this Display Link chipset. This is the latest chipset that exists and it is able to work very very well in terms of uh, maximizing the amount of performance you get versus the amount of bandwidth that Shadow provides over USB over IP. And what I mean by that is this second monitor is running off of this DisplayLink device, which is running off of a USB hub, which is driving my uh, Blue Yeti Pro microphone and also my surround sound system. And... Uh, the monitor itself so that is rather rather important here because this display link chipset really does make the difference people might skimp and get uh, lower performing chipsets and i'm here to say that with those lower performing chipsets they will require more usb over ip bandwidth and not a lot of people have that uh, bandwidth available to them uh, because of the way that their internet connection at home is. So it is very important that if you want to duplicate this setup, you get that particular display link chipset or better in order to get dual monitor support for your shadow. Thank you for watching my video. This is James McCorn signing off. Have a good day.